Welcome back to another adventure on the bike. This one's going to be an extra special adventure because we don't know what the hell we're doing. We're, uh, it's really windy. I don't even know if you can hear me. But uh, yeah, got Asher Ren right here. I'm Chris Blanchard. And we are fishing with Garrett and Nick today, possibly. They're around here somewhere. But right now we're up here at Lookout Point Reservoir. And it is super windy, but pretty gorgeous up here. Uh, we don't really have any main intentions for the day. There's a bunch of species in here, but we are just gonna try to get something on the hook. We've been looking for a bank spot just to slide our little dinghy in the water. We just wanna slide our dinghy in. Um, yeah. <laughs> we don't really, we don't know what's going on yet. So sit back, relax. Garrett and Nick will be here in a minute. We're gonna chat with them and figure out what's going on. Yeah. I think I got a game plan. We're gonna fish. I think I got a game plan. We're getting a boat in the water and we're going fishing. Of course we're fishing. That's your plan? Yeah. All right guys, so we figured out our game plan. We're gonna unload this boat, unload the gear. We're gonna carry it down to the water. Cue the music. Nick, what up? Garrett, what you up? hate the can. Hey, <laughs> All right, Nick and Garrett just showed up. We're gonna carry. Are you guys carrying too? I mean, we can help you guys. You know, yeah, you it's not like we were thinking about coming down this way. And then, yeah. But we were thinking it was too windy to put in up there, and we were just gonna get blown around. But now we're thinking that if we just get blown back to here. <laughs> Like these two cars. Yeah, we just yeah. jam as far as we can and come back. One of my other thoughts was like, like if we get to like right there with it, do I have enough rope to like go around this tree? Dude, we could yeah, definitely probably do that. Yeah, we got that. I think we're gonna change our game up here and hit up a different leg. So, God dang it. Thanks, Trump. And we owe Corey a milkshake, I guess. <laughs> is that four milkshakes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that four or just one? Fucking, he's gonna get a lifetime supply of milkshakes. I'm spitting in Corey's milkshake. He's definitely. <laughs> right there you know like we'll be able to get to over here and then have it be like that that's you know this is probably the distance we can go right and then and well, then we like i said the wind's gonna drive it so if we go with the wind in the morning garrett we're about to where are you Um, I guarantee if you want to win a milkshake, you can put it at the dam right there. Where if you, are you at? we're up, we're up at that other boat ramp. I think, I think we might sneak in there and then uh, drop the boat and then sneak out, kind of thing. The far one? Yeah. There's no tape in front of it. There's tape in front of it. Somebody already knocked it down. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll go see what we can do. Yeah, let me know when you're putting in or what you're doing. Yeah, sounds good. All right, later. Hey, what's up guys? So right now we're just driving around looking for a good spot to put the boat in. All the boat ramps are closed. Um, but I just think I'd give you the breakdown real quick because we're just driving around aimlessly around this lake. Um, but I'll give you all the full details here in a little bit. So stay tuned. So rumor has it the boys found us a spot, a uh, boat ramp of some kind. So we're driving up to where they're at, some little road that um, isn't usually lake access, but someone working there or like a groundskeeper or something says that we can 
uh, we can launch there. So we're gonna head over there and launch the boats and finally get into fishing. This day started pretty early for lines to not be wet yet. friendly competition between Garrett and Nick and me and Asher. This boat versus that boat. We're gonna do most fish, biggest fish, we're gonna do it all. Ugliest fish and smallest fish. So stay tuned, we're just getting ready. We're just, stay tuned, we're just getting started. Is that what they say? Stay tuned, we're just getting started. Do a little panoramic. We got Nick and Garrett over there. We're in. After didn't rig up his gear last night in preparation. So we're gonna anchor up probably, get some get some stuff rigged up, get the baits going. And we're gonna beat these guys. Well, we, we're sitting here just, uh, you know, fixing things. We're anchored up and Garrett and Nick got one on the boat. Well, it's not in yet. It's not in yet. They're right there. Oh, it's a fish though. Is it pike minnow? In the shut up. It's a nice trout. Hey, fish is a fish. A fish yeah, is a you fish do. is a fish, bud. All right, so they're up one pike minnow. Tourney winner! Nice. Damn, he's nice, bro. Look at that trout. Dude, that's like a four pounder. Yeah! Get this rod here real quick, Chris. Got a really nice trout on, guys. A really nice trout. What? Yeah. Kinda, I've broken off a lot of fish lately, I'll be real with you. So I'm gonna do a light, light bite on this one. Oh, baby. Walker. It's a beautiful rainbow right here, boys. Look at that thing, dude. He does not want to be caught. Beautiful rainbow trout. Look at all the spots of dude. That thing is insane. Definitely a planter. It's got the clip. It's got a little beat up fins on the tail. And that right there. Dinner. Awesome fish. I'm so stoked. 
Thank you, Dexter Reservoir. Thank you, Fish God! Woo, look at that thing! All right, well, that thing's going home, for sure. Get it. Woo that right there is a beautiful Oregon rainbow trout. Look at the crazy spots on it. It almost looks like a tiger. I don't know if the sunlight's right on that thing, but that thing's gotta be in the three, three pound range. That's gonna make some nice slabs for the freezer. I am so stoked right now. First fish of the day for us, for in this boat. It wasn't a pike minnow, boys. It's a three pounder. It's a tree pounder. <laughs> fish on home. Let's get more. There, bud. Little fish. Can't, can't tell what size it is. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, you gotta, like you gotta, you gotta yell at your competitors out there and tell them. Fish on! Doesn't feel like a monster, but doesn't feel like a baby. Not bad. Oh, it's a big pike, pike minnow. Oh, uh, pike minnow! It's a half a point. I wonder if that's what hit mine too, though. So you guys, our target species right now are these big planter rainbow trout because they put a bunch of them in here. Some of those larger fish, you saw the one that Chris caught earlier maybe. But this place is full of these pike minnows and they're pretty wild fish. They look a lot like a minnow, except for they're bigger, they're gnarlier, they're a total predator. Um, in a lot of places out here, there's bounties on them. They're super invasive. Up on the Columbia, they'll pay you like a buck 50 per fish. They eat salmon, um, smolt, and their eggs and stuff. And you'll see a lot of fishermen just throw these up on the bank and um, let them die right there because they're that hated of a fish. But that's pretty cool right there. Another little uh, little fish for the show. I think this is our pi first pike minnow we're putting up. There you oh, go. there's a good fish on. All right, this pike minnow is going back into the water. Feel like the football but that's funny right when we were releasing that pike minnow my rod just goes off i didn't drop the camera i'm sure you <laughs> it's hilarious i love that stuff but i was kind of hoping for that i mean you talk long enough on a good day of fishing and you're bound to hook one up oh yeah fish on a huge pike minnow wait monster pike minnow monster pike minnow It might have been the same one we just lost. Nah. Nah, yours is bigger. Well, just like Asher was saying, this lake is just full of these fish. They actually have a tournament on this lake. It's during the Blackberry Jam Festival. I think it's in July, late July sometime. And they have a tournament where they pretty much just catch as many of these as they can, and they turn them into garden food because they are a very hated species, mainly because of our salmon and steelhead spe uh, fisheries. They just annihilate them. But up in here, this is this is just a trout reservoir. I mean, it's not that big a deal. And honestly, these ones up here, they got some really nice color on them. So, you know, he gets to live another day. So, have a good day, bud. Oh, you're on, you're on. White rod, red rod. Another fish. Fish on! Pike minnow. Pike minnow. Red, red wedding ring with a little bit of worm tucked into it. He does not want to let this go. Come on, bud. Just barely hooked him, but he does not want to let it go. Another beautiful little pike minnow. Half a point. Half a point. Get him back into the water. Try to get into one of them big old trials. All right, so the count so far is, what is that? Three pike minnow? Three pike minnow. Three pike minnow, minnow big rainbow. Uh, four. Four pike minnow. Three or four, you'll probably, I don't know. Three or four. We can't count for shit. <laughs> Three or four pike minnow and a big rainbow. They got a big rainbow and one, two pike minnow, because Nick got one. So it's kind of neck and neck. I think we need a couple big fish on board to really seal the deal.
Oh, Decent yeah. pike minnow though. That's another one! Another fish! So that's, let's just say that's number four pike minnow. Pike minnow. Never caught one of these before. They kind of remind me of a little shark. The way they're shaped. Oh, that's a jump. That's a jump, though. Pike minnow. He's a jumper, even if he is a. I don't know, but I couldn't see it really either. But it looked a little bit. It's a trout. Yeah. When it was jumping, that's why I was thinking maybe it wasn't a pike minnow. Decent. That's another three pointer. Start making up point systems. Right. Another nice Dexter Lake rainbow. Gonna go in the box. Not as big as the first one, but it is another rainbow, and it's not a squat fish, so I'm really fun. <laughs> About the same size. Nice, man. We got two nice ones then. Slabs. Are you on? You're on. You're on. White rod. White rod. Right here. Fish on. To another jumper. Just aim it up. Here, my rod, the net. Definitely uh, bigger than my my second trout. For sure. Little runner. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a nice trout. Okay, I lied. It might be as big as my own. We got another good one! Full. Oh, right. Yeah, he's got a nice trout. You can see he's just zooming around. Chrome, bright. Okay, it's coming in right here. Coming in. Nice fish. Oh! Yeah, another big one. That's another nice fish right another there. Nice fish, dude. Dude, Ooh. here I'll throw it on that. Pull it out. Nice fish, brother. That's another three, four pounder. Gotta be. The hook's out. I'm gonna be real careful here so I don't lose another big fish like I did. <laughs> yeah, he called me the fumble master. Just you guys recently. saw that last episode. Yeah. <laughs> we fumbled several other fish on that trip. We went We're so good at fumbling. Right yeah, well, that's Look a beauty. At that beautiful that's longer fish. than mine for sure. That's a nice fish, dude. Just a little bit. Look at that beautiful rainbow trout right there. That's a Dexter hatchery fish. They put that in there for us to pull out and eat. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it out and eat it. And uh, God, what a gorgeous, gorgeous trout. You can see right here, that's where they clipped the fin at the hatchery so that we know that it was a, a planter fish. Um, that's beautiful. I'm gonna put it out of its misery real quick. And uh, we're gonna get into some more. What awesome, awesome fishing we have right here, just outside of Eugene. Dexter Reservoir Rainbow Trout. Yeah, baby. Alright, that was a great 
super fun. Let me get this line in real quick so we can get ourselves a little bit resituated. We were gonna go hit up uh, this other reservoir that we heard had um, had some secret big fish in it, but it was just way too windy up there. We drove all over the lake looking for a place to put the boat in, and the only place that seemed like we could put the boat in, it was just super windy and it wasn't gonna be worth fishing. So we came down here, hit up Dexter, and we're having a great time, man. We're catching some big trout, lots of pike minnows. So even if we had only caught these two trout, we'd be stoked. Just catching the pike minnows, it's fish. So we're catching fish. It's better than not catching any fish at all. But being able to come up, catch a fish pretty often, every couple of minutes, you catch a little, you know, bycatch trash fish, you throw it back in the water, and then throw that thing off again. Then you get in uh, to one of these. What a beautiful, beautiful fish to just be able to come catch at your local reservoir, right? Stoked on that. Nice, big, beautiful rainbow trout. Woo -wee! Woo -wee! What we're fishing with today is a classic. Dude, these are right. Dude, these are twins. They're like identical, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're running the old school Max wedding ring. We uh, pulled the hooks that come with them out and dropped these bait holder hooks in because they hold onto a worm a little bit better. Um, new line, so we've got um, some stronger, um, decent line in here. I'm running the pinkish, pinkish red. He's got the, uh, well, you've got the straight red. Chris is running straight red. I got a little bullet weight. Chris just has a little slide weight. That that right there is going to slay you is, trout. There's, there's multiple ways to get them out here. We're just kind of... Yeah, yeah. There's lots of ways you can get into your trout out here. And this is how we're getting into them today. Trout? One, that's just that one pike minnow? Okay, so you got four. Or no, you got the one trout, huh? Turn around, I'm telling you. Unless you want to catch up with pike minnow. <laughs> it is true. Old eagles. the chance for Garrett and Nick to catch up because we are dead in the water right now. Ash is over here fixing the Tron motor. What is it all nasty in there or something? The T-post thing broke? Oh, I see it. So it's done. Well, our day might be over for trolling. We might even need a, a ride. <laughs> Message for five, yeah. four, one. Try Nikki. <laughs> what up? Hey, is there any chance that we could borrow oh. your guys' trolling motor? What? Can we borrow your trolling motor? Uh, you're cutting out a cake. We'll can we borrow your trolling motor? motor? Can what? Oh, okay, I can hear you now. Can we borrow your trolling motor? Why? <laughs> uh, we're dead in the water over here. We, uh, Is it the motor? yeah, you know how the spindle has that T post thing on it underneath the prop? Yeah. The T post broke off, dude. We're just, we're trying to MacGyver right now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going to work. We're, we're going to try it out. We're over here chilling. We're kicking it. If you guys want to come hang out, you know, we're having a little party over here. Make a yeah, fire, doesn't sound fish. like you got any girls over there. Um, hang on, ladies, come on out. <laughs> <laughs> Go by. How about just uh, how about just just run down to Bymark, pick us up a trolling motor, huh? <laughs> <laughs> just loan us your trolling motor. We'll switch it back and forth. You guys have it for a little bit, and then we'll take it for no, a little bit. No. <laughs> the key to winning tournaments is maintenance of equipment. <laughs> I know. Call me skater. Ask Eric, ask Garrett about the skater. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I'll, I'll, I'll watch you guys catch a fish as you go by. We 
Another pike meadow. One more minnow for the boat. Yeah. Another little pike minnow. Find a little fish. Get him back in the water. Well, you guys, the weather took a little turn on us. Um, started getting windy and rainy a little bit ago, and it's calmed down a little bit, which is nice. It's still uh, raining, but there's not nearly as much wind, and we're just kind of hanging out where we anchored off. Trolling motor died, and uh, it's not going to uh, come back to life on this particular voyage. The T-pin that holds the prop into the, uh, the mount there just straight busted. It's, I could MacGyver all day and I wouldn't get it fixed. I need to drill out the hole and put a new metal rod in place. So um, we're gonna hang out while it rains a little bit, try to catch a couple more fish, try to stay in the lead. We're still crushing the tournament right now, but we're probably gonna get a tow home from our competitors, which is, you know. Usually a no-no. It's usually a no-no. It's embarrassing at the least. It's maybe not the cleanest win that we would like, but I think that we're at like 11.4, 11.5, something like that. So um, we're gonna try to keep putting fish away, get us up to maybe 12, 13, 14, 15, something like we'll that. Let our fish speak for us. Yeah. So, hope you guys are enjoying um, the episode. It's a lot of run around to get us on the water, but we got on the water. Boat ramps were all closed. Um, we went all the way up to Lookout Point Reservoir. There was nowhere to get on the water up there, so we came down to Dexter. Immediately got into a couple of fish. It was super nice. It was a lot of fun. But uh, this weather came in, and it's probably going to be time to call it here soon. Yeah, the rain just picked back up. So. Well, we got to let our competition call it. Did we call it? That's yep, yep. Happened. They got to call it. We can't call it. We'll sit here in the rain until they're like, we're getting a little bit wet. We're going to tow you guys home. Let's go. Like, all right. Well, the rain's let up a little bit, which is nice. Um, the wind calmed down a little bit too, which is also nice. But we're still um, dead in the water. I don't think that's going to change. I think that we're going to have to get a tow home from our competition. That's a trout, yeah? Oh, yeah man. As you can probably see, we had to get back by that we guy. had to get the competition of the tournament to uh, <laughs> to drag us in. We don't know if we're DQ'd or if we're. We've got a real nice S pattern to our troll right now, though, and I think it's we're we're basically a big dodger. You know, we're like <laughs> we're the Ford Fender back here doing loops. You know? <laughs> Guys, we all set off together today, but they thought we might have had Corona, so they made us ride in the dinghy <laughs> out back. And they said you got to stay 50 feet on the tow rope, so we're uh, we're back here on the tow rope. We're trying to catch dinner, otherwise we're gonna go hungry here in this boat. We're quarantining in this boat. <laughs> Damn, I can see a big fish jump all the way. I see the ripple down there in the, in the dark. No, I mean, you're the captain, right? I mean, technically, you're now the captain. <laughs> I did just see a big fish um, jump right over there in the shadows, but I'm like... <laughs> you go anywhere you want.
<laughs> I hate calling them pikemen now, cause you guys want this one? Come on, they have such a bony mouth. Another swath. Oh, there's a fish. Whoa. Hey, this thing almost fell over too as it was happening. If I can just rotate it around and hey, hopefully you don't fall over. Well, Chris has got me and that's a weird little angle anyways. Another big oh, squaw fish. We should just like come back here and do a squaw turning. Yeah. We were just talking about going up to Columbia and doing that bounty. We've always talked about it, dude. Look at that, another squaw fish. The pike minnow. Formerly known as the squaw fish. They're actually pretty clean up there. Yep. Get him back in the water. And Right, guys that's a wrap for the day we are pulling into our takeout right now um, it's been a pretty crazy day with weather wise we we showed up here with sunny glassy flat beautiful and then it turned into windy rainy cold and miserable so now it's sunny flat and beautiful again and we're leaving i don't understand that but i think we're gonna go check out something else we've got some nice rainbow trout in the box some really nice rainbow trout in the box that you guys will see right now smashed out a beautiful little collection of trout. These are all planted rainbow trout. We just pulled out a Dexter here. Real happy about it. We're gonna take them home, chop them up, and turn them into fish tacos. So, yay. Dun 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 bam 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 bam